I mean, the Outlaws as a team, man. I mean, how did y'all come about? Well, you know, it's it kind of started with uh, me, myself, Castro, which was Pac's uh, blood cousin, and, and Gaddafi, his god brother. All four of us grew up as kids, and, you know, we just had dreams and aspirations of doing something uh, better for our families and, and changing the, the trajectory of our family because where we started at, as opposed to where we at, where we at now, you know, yeah. it was a far cry, you know what I'm saying? Started in New York City, Harlem. Brooklyn, New Jersey, and um, you know, start basically from nothing, but a whole lot of love and a whole lot of um, passion to, to do something great. Mm-hmm. And, and hip hop was our outlet. Yeah. you know what I'm saying. So Pac kicked down the door and, and held it open for us, and was like, "If y'all want to learn this business, just watch me." Now, one thing that I noticed about Pac and the Outlaws, it seemed like every time y'all got together, y'all brought the best out of each other. That's a true statement. Tell right me there. about that, man, because I was listening to it and I was thinking about all of my favorite two-part songs. The Outlaws was on them things, man. Yeah, yeah. Well, I appreciate you saying that, man. Yeah. But, um, you know, it's the truth, man. He definitely brought out the best in us. Yeah. You know, because he wouldn't he wouldn't um stand for anything less, you know, 100% every time we went in that booth and got behind that mic. Yeah. And and his passion and um and work ethic, you, you had to – bring your A game or you was going to get left behind, you know, and and, and you ain't want to get left behind when that movement was moving. Yeah, they go that word again. Exactly. You know exactly. what I'm saying? So, hell yeah, we brought out the best. He definitely brought out the best in us. And I feel like on a few songs, we might have pushed them a little bit, yeah. you know, made niggas. And, that's what, and see, that's what I was about to go straight yeah, to, yeah, okay? Yeah. That made niggas. Uh-huh. The video and the song, both of them are classic. Right. You got to break that down to me, man. Yeah, man. Well, it's it's funny you say that, man, because when we did that song, he really was only supposed to have one verse on there. But then he, after he heard us do our verses, he was like, oh, nah, I got to come. And yeah. then you hear his second verse, he going hand. Yeah, he He really turned it up another thing. level after yeah. his first verse. And he was, you know, that was one of the first songs. He, I think he saw, he looked at us, and he was like, damn, y'all going to be great. Exactly. You know what I mean? Exactly. Mm-hmm. Another banger, though, man, that review. Yeah. Like I told you, I had that thing on repeat the other day. I mean, what were the studio sessions like putting them songs together? Man, it was just like, man, we was in the zone. Uh To be honest with you, we was just in the zone, just recording music and and, and wanting to be the best Mm -hmm. out there, period. You know, we we felt like we was already the best. We felt like our music was was for, you know, intelligent people and progressive people as well as the thugs Mm -hmm. and, and the hood dudes. You know, so we wanted to touch all areas, and when we went in the studio, that was our goal. Radio 